Welcome to the first module of the Season MOOC on Digital Technologies. In this first module, we will be looking at data, what data is and how it is important to digital technologies. The importance of data is connected to the concept of computational thinking. Computational thinking is an approach to problem solving where one of the goals is to develop an automated solution to a problem, such as would be used by a computer. Computational thinking involves analyzing a problem, working out what information is needed to solve the problem, this is the data, and then coming up with a sequence of steps that can be used to describe the solution to the problem. This is what we call the algorithm. In this example, we have the problem of sorting a group of blocks by color. The data that we need in this case is the color of the blocks. We can see the sequence of steps, picking up a block, identifying its colors, and then working out which pile of the already sorted box it belongs to. We use algorithms every day to help us solve problems, but we don't usually think of the individual steps that we do, like when we pick up a block, that there is a sequence there of bending, grabbing the block and lifting. We don't usually have to spell that out to ourselves in such detail, however for a computer we do. There are some cases though where we do carefully identify each step, like when someone is learning how to tie their shoelaces or tie a tie. This is a good way of thinking about how to define algorithms. Let's look more closely at data now though. There are many different examples of data around you. Data is essentially just a piece of information about something, such as the color of the blocks we just saw. But we might just as easily have decided to sort our blocks by their size, sorting smaller blocks into one pile and larger blocks into another. An important aspect of computational thinking is determining what data is actually needed to solve a problem and ignoring other data that might also be present but that doesn't actually help us solve our problem. In the rest of this module, we will look more closely at different kinds of data that you might want to use when solving problems and the different ways that data can be represented. We will also look at patterns in data and why patterns are particularly important in computational thinking. And we will present some classroom activities that we think might be useful in exploring data, incorporating aspects of collecting, analyzing and presenting data. Finally, we will end the module with a small activity and a collection of additional resources or example activities that we hope you find useful.